So it's 1059. That's a race to five nine, ten toes down off of a three one three knock to a Chief Pontiac. That's Detroit versus everybody. Cause Jacktown got your back. This is uh Slim Shady production. <laughs> Questions and answers about the culture. So um I'm gonna take questions, but I want y'all to try to stick to cultural questions. Right? Um if you want to deal with more personal matters, you have to inbox me or um video chat with me on on um, Instagram or Facebook, whichever one of the platforms that we linked on. But um we're going to answer some questions about the general culture of the tribes, like things that we used to do that we still do, but we didn't know that we still do those things that was already in our culture, even with the foreign cultures permeating the land like a cancerous growth. We still practiced our culture out in the open in everybody face. Some examples is Mardi Gras for um, the Big Easy, Cinco de Mayo for Mexico, um, the Chicago Steppers, right? The California Sea Walkers and Bee Walkers. All of these things is our culture that when you take it away from us, being who we are and being genuine to who we are, all of these artistic expressions come out in the mainstream society as a dance craze, Soldier Boy, Memphis on the map, right? When he come out and did uh, all of their children was doing this Superman. You know, some people think it was destructive to hip hop, but it was directly reflective of the culture because it spoke to the hearts of so many children that then it spilled over into the adults. So now you got full grown adults in nightclubs doing the fucking Superman like it's a uh, uh like it's a uh a, a, a adult dance it was done to unify the children and using the the spirit of the art all right now y'all looking all in my closet <laughs> <clears throat> so we're going to take a our first, first caller Maximus Power Time. Um, well, <laughs> while I'm waiting to see if they make this connection and he come in, October, um, we got a lot of stuff being revealed that the average person is not seeing. Like they had the uh, Crystal City was spotted. They called it Project Blue Bean, but it wasn't. Um, Nibiru has been over Michigan for a couple of nights, and they've been photographing the dust trail, the red iron oxide. And um, I just got a, a, a all passions knock on the sun, S-U-N, being symbolically on the cross in the imagery of the dust cloud forming what appears to be a cross going behind the sun. So that's a crucifixion of the sun, three days to a resurrection on the return. So all these is like spirit codes. We see them in the physical world, the average person, they don't mean nothing, right? So, they never, never let him in. We'll try it again.
Yeah, let him in this time. Peace, guys. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Peace, chief. What's up? What's going on with you? Yeah, <laughs> shit, man. You know, I've been trying to get with you. You know, we got to unite the tribes. Yeah, I can see it in your face. You're going to the Eagle Clan. I've been, been on. I've been on. A, I've been on the journey, man. With my mom's right now. We we on all the way out of South Carolina. What's your total? You know what your total amount of is? Nah. You look like you like from the Bird Clan. Like the your total amount of most. It'd be an eagle, an, an eagle, eagle or a hawk. Yeah, that, that, that's what I was saying, hawk, because I found mm. the hawk feather. Yeah, they, they talk to you. See, you right. You see them. You see your. You see your totem animal and visions. You know you gotta be cautious with that because they don't want us having no hawk and eagle feathers. We must lock our ass up. Mm -hmm. I already know, and that's Standard. how they distinguish us. Yeah. When they see us practicing our culture, they institute laws to bar us from practicing that part of the culture, right? And when they, so if they already know what you're going to do, they make it illegal. So when you do it, you're doing it because it's your nature. Absolutely. No thought involved. Following your culture, being who you are, but they made this part of it illegal. That's how they declare war. Every warrant is a rant, a war rant, an ongoing declaration of war on the chiefs, the princes, and the people of the land. And I feel, I feel it running through my blood. Mm -hmm. I feel it. I've been having ascension symptoms and everything due to it. You get what yep. I'm saying? Everywhere I go. Just remember, the, the tree is the most stable energy. I I know that's what I be doing. I, I grasp the trees for my energy and I speak. You got to them. a chakra in each one of your palms. You got a chakra. Damn, right? You got chakras at the bottom of both of your feet. I know I heard Dr. B speaking on that earlier too. I know that was you right. speaking. No, nah, that's an old live I was watching earlier because I was putting my step pops on to it with you and Dr. B. And y'all was speaking about the chakras at the bottom of the feet. Mm. That was with you. Mm -hmm. Dr. Phil and Brother Rich. Now remember, be serious. One side of your body is descending and the other is the receiving, the same as the poles on the battery. When you put your feet to the earth barefooted and your palms to the tree, you just grounded your energy to the most stable two sources known to man. And I feel like that's the only thing that really gives me that my true energy and and let me know that I'm on my right on my right path. The earth mm -hmm. speak back to me. Do you remember about 25, 30 years ago, they had all these pale faces chaining themselves to the trees, trying to stop them from cutting them cutting them down. They was camping out in the tops of trees, trying to stop them from chopping them down. Yeah, that was like a they was the calling them crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they was calling calling them crazy tree huggers, right? They could not control the impulse to protect the forest because the trees know who is willing to put their life on the land and protect the forest. So the vibration go out to Mother Earth in the ground. She says, send these people over here that is going to put their life on the land and protect the tree. They couldn't control that shit. If you're going to yep. be on the land, the land going to use you where it needs you. I know, and that's what the land been doing me. I'm from New York. I'm from Brooklyn. But I'm down in Jacksonville, Florida right now because the land called me down here to my ancestral <laughs> land, you know, reclaim, reclaiming my birthrights on every part of the land. Before I got down here to Jacksonville, I was in San Diego. So I went from Brooklyn to Jacksonville to San Diego, back to Jacksonville. Now I'm about to head to South Carolina. To, the, to, to another part of our ancestral lands. I feel like I got to lay my feet on all of the ley lines and, and like receive all of the grid energy from the ground and from the trees, wherever they call me. Look, you zigzagged across the land in a specific pattern. You I show came life down from New York, shot it all the way back across to San Diego, shot it back, went through everything 
thing. And mind you, I took it on the Greyhound. So I shot it back I, and, and then came back down. And then I just went back up to New York and then came right back down. Went back to okay. the Bronx and came right back down. This is what the chief's supposed to do with that. You travel in the land for a purpose. This is a critical part of the culture we have to remember as we teach the young chiefs how to reclaim the land. You put a sigil on the land because Big Mama driving your energy. Now, Absolutely. You, know, you get the map and you get you a clear sheet and a, a dry erase marker, draw the sigil. Follow your, the points that where you travel to, it's going to make a sigil. Once you get the sigil, first you do an image search because you might find out that the sigil already exists exist, somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Right. If that is, that's called an ancestral message. You have to study it. Only you can tell you what it really means because it's your sigil. I can tell you what it looked like to me, but you the only one can give it the definition because it's your, your life path pattern sigil. Your life path is the journey that you travel. Right? Absolutely. You was told to make certain stops. Those are called key places. When you stopped in the key places, you had to reside for a minute. Yeah, they even... Yeah, they did that to me when I went when I went through Texas. They made me stay in Dallas for a little while. And mm -hmm. then when, when I went through so Tennessee, everywhere you had what's called an unexpected extended stay. That's a dot on the map in the journey. So, like, let's say you were supposed to pass through um, Texas, and yeah. you were supposed to just stop to get gas, but you end up being there for two days, right? That's how she holds you to put another dot. Now, later on, it's going to be some other chiefs that you ain't never met before that's going to be doing the same thing. They going to be doing it by either another elder that they talk to tell them, but y'all going to have the same sigil, but y'all going to be to touch different parts of the land. Absolutely. And that's how right. crazy a part of this, this part of my journey is because this is like a part of my journey. Like I'm with my moms right now. You feel me? I got taken away from my moms when I was five years old. I found my moms back on my own when I, when I was fourteen. So I'm with my moms right, right now. Mom, say what up, the rod? Hey. hey. <laughs> she kept up the speaker. <laughs> I can't hear nothing. I can hear you now. Okay, blessings to you. I'm always ahead of yours. I'm always putting Florida water on you on TV. I'm always touching you. I'm always praying for you. I'm, I love you, and I thank you so much. I thank you so much. You something else. How can I lose with that kind of I, love and energy I behind me? That's right. You can't. You can't. You can't. <laughs> but I'm telling you, you are... You've been with us every single day on this journey. Like my son told you, we've been all over getting all these downloads. We've been even sharing what we have and leaving the things behind that need to be left behind. So you see grandma, she go everywhere with us right here. That's the matriarch right there. Mm -hmm. South Carolina. And so she is the one that's giving us all our clues, giving us our fire and everything, but most of all, the love for ourselves. So your son said y'all going to South Carolina soon. Yeah, yeah. There's a Gullah Geechee family there. I don't know who they is, and you don't know who they is. Okay. But this is what you're going to ask for the big mama with the chocolate skin and the white hair. Big mama with the chocolate skin and the white hair. Okay. Right. You're going to know that it's the right one because she's not going to look old, but her hair is going to be snow white. Mm. Makes sense. Right. And she's going to give you your mission, okay. your purpose. Okay. To 
re, in restoring the matriarchy. Yes. Now, she might not talk straight English to you. She might talk coded to you. Maybe like this. That's what I got. And then when you talk to her like that, she's going to talk to you back just like that, straight. Yep. Because yep. yep. she'll know that you remember the old ways. Yes. Yes. And then she's going to know who sent you. This is going to make everything exactly worth being back in this round four. After having nine children, I'll, I'll have eight grands. I'm 52 years old, born and raised in New York City, so you already know what I've been through, okay? Penitentiaries, mm -hmm. drugs, anything you could think of, okay? So I know that I'm useful for humanity and for the rest of my children all over the world. And you can't argue with that. That's how we get to see they, everybody wants somebody to be perfect. You have to work towards perfection. And then the journey and the path, it don't mean you ain't gonna get dirty along the way. You're gonna get filthy. Because you're gonna make mistake after mistake because yeah. you're learning. Yeah, and the best best part of it is learning yourself with yeah. it all being squeezed and perplexed and crushed down. The biggest part of my journey that I learned was learning myself while I was going through these things. What were my thoughts? How was I feeling? Even about family members that don't believe in this. Family members that just, you know, and being able to set that to the side. But everything's going well. For the ones who don't believe it ain't their time yet. Yes. Especially if you know they part of the clan. They need to see the clans recovering from the slumber. My son say that all the time. And that's why he feels so empowered to keep moving and not have no relationships. He's a beautiful young man. He's not even with his children and it's, he's with me. So I know this is my haru, you know, out of all of my sons and out of all of my children, I have this one designated to me that is Maximo's power hot and he's on his father's side is Kyle Houghton. And I'm, my, my mother and everybody's from South Carolina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's probably why you get the message to ask for the lady with the chocolate skin and the white hair. Yes. Yeah. You might have to go find her in the church somewhere. I believe it. But she'll be the church mother and everybody will appreciate her wisdom for the, and guidance. Because she was guiding him from the inside of the church while the devil was spitting venom from the pulpit. Mm -hmm. And she that's why, made it through all of that. And that's why we all, always had a section of church mothers in there. Because they know the devil going to be spitting the lies from the pulpit. We are not allowed to openly tell each other who we is without getting murdered. Mm. So the big mamas in the church just kept cultural practices alive because one of them going to raise a chief that's going to remember the old ways mm -hmm. and see where they at. Mm -hmm. And this is how, how we're going to be refining the big mamas across the land. Yep. So all of the work is actively in progress, but we can't see it because it's not played out in the public as a spectacle. Mm-hmm. But what's in the public is what's in the public domain. We use social media to um, follow our oral tradition to inform the clans across the land that we back for every motherfucking thing they owe. Yep. Yep. It's absolutely true. So people don't understand why I don't have gatherings in places. See, they want that. Because that's how they're going to say you run in a cult and trump yes. up a case on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So I already didn't seen it too many times. I've seen what they've done to Giant Africa. Yes. Yes. In Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. I've seen what they've done to David Koresh. Right? I've seen what they've done to Rashad Jamal. Yes. I've seen what they've done to Malachi Z. York, right? 
I seen what they done to Larry Hoover, Fred Hampton, Angel Bay. I'm not going to fall into the trap. I was about to say that too, but guess who it's not going to happen to? You. That's not happening to you. That's not your fate. Yeah, that's what my mama told me. She oh, said, yeah. she say, as long as you make sure you're right, you ain't going to lose no fights. And it's absolutely true because none of so, that is written all over you. None of that. Mm -hmm. And my father said, if you stand in the position of right, tell the truth. That's your greatest defense. And I love your I love your attitude towards all of the things that's going on and the words that's saying right now. And one thing, yeah, I could tell you, we got you got everybody saying fuck that job. And my on my family and my around us and everybody that we listen to that and that runs through this our breathing and as we go about keeping that up front always and not having no temporary moments where we all high and hyped up because we all together saying the right things but when those moments when you're alone and those moments where you might feel like you want to walk your ass back into the matrix hall yeah you know i be wanting to go back to work just to have something to do and exactly it's true I just right had a job but when i day. think about going back to work had to contract me back to these devils i got like fuck a job until they said i had to do a damn drug test and i smoked so much damn cannabis and then i said never mind <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably your culture look yeah we smoke in our culture yeah they they made it illegal because we take the drug test. Yeah. I said, oh, sorry, I'm wrong place. They <laughs> made it illegal. They made smoking marijuana illegal just to keep <laughs> us from using it to advance our spiritual awakening. I love y'all in the comments. Y'all, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, my my people be the truth. Favorite. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. We is a family. You, I'm telling you, when you see all of us come up you'll see the same names coming up and everybody be clicking up look at them they is crazy it's something else they is going off and i love it because we need that we need to see that we all feel in the same way it helps you. it helps you when you feel like you pressed up against the wall look look when we realize the truth of that when we decide to separate from the system that the system is so indebted to us it has to immediately pay out mm -hmm. that will make people understand why i say fuck a job we don't That's need right. jobs we don't yeah <laughs> we, so, we we are the we create we are creators of jobs for other people look, us culturally if we follow our culture we everybody do that what they call the labor of love the thing you love to do we didn't do it for money though that's right that's right 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 now we working for money that's gonna keep you perpetually a slave you already rich but you can't even inherit your inheritance because you are not competent enough to know you already rich and that they living off your wealth in your face behind your back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. they driving up and down all these fancy cars that really belong to us can't take it making us register our shit with a corporation in order to deprive us for the rights of ownership that's can't a constructed no fraud that's the whole, whole thing about it the fire that's burning inside of not being able to one just can't take it no more it's just not it's, it's not comfortable no more it's not all right no more my mama said sooner or later you're going Look, to have to tell these here. people <laughs> she said sooner or later you're going to have to tell these people that you know what you're talking about to such a degree that they listen to what you talk that's about right that's right that's right and so, let me tell you this it ain't being on no job either you're not going to be able to have no degree of nothing but slavery a slavery ship that's the only degree you're going to get at a job because it takes finding out about yourself, dealing with your people, dealing with yourself, and being in those books that have those traces of you in it. And that's the journey that we all, we've been, we been on. I couldn't find nothing. Because after the Bible, 
I had to go to the Apocrypha, I had to go to Quran, I had to go in the Buddhist temple. I was looking out everywhere for my damn self when I realized. Mm -hmm. Trying to rem mm -hmm. remember me. Why did I come here, have all these children? Why did my life, why was this the track that my parents, everything, these was deep questions that was not able to be found in, you know, in no library, in some white man's school and in his books. They teach right about because everybody outside ain't, your soul. can't no book tell you what's written in your soul no you nope. had to learn what's written in your soul by examining your natural feelings about things right so first you gotta get rid of the unnatural ego driven feelings those are the things you was told to feel a certain way about by the society that's not how you really feel it's true they told you that that's how you feel and you accepted it. That's part of your ego um, that they built for you. Mm -hmm. And as, as long as you doing something that you don't really believe in, but somebody told you you did, you are in service to the one who told you that this is what you believe. And that don't feel good. Well, some it of the people would rather be told what to do than to be allowed to do what they want to do. Yeah. Because then they have to be responsible for their own life. They would rather let the church and the dead Christ be responsible for their life and the devil be responsible for any errors in their life than to take responsibility for the God self. All these things are in creation because creation holds all these things, mm -hmm. right? So even though it's artificial intelligence, it can't exist if Big Mama didn't allow us the opportunity to create. This is absolutely true. Right? So she'd say, go and experiment and find the expanses of your mind as you walk in the form of man. She let us make atomic bonds and don't mm -hmm. stop us. Mm -hmm. How we gonna know? How we gonna expand consciousness by limiting our abilities to expand consciousness? It doesn't even make sense. Mm -hmm. So the Sesquity Trust came up. Let's see if I can pin this comment. In this comment, he say, go and read the Sesquity V Act of 1666. Mm -hmm. Now, it's actually three papal bulls Jews in unison that was given about a hundred years apart or so. Probably not even that long apart. But it's saying you will know it not being held back, just treated as a child because you act like one. Mm -hmm. This when they was calling us imbeciles in law, right? As an imbecile in law, you don't know how to handle your own legal affairs. Okay. Your legal affairs is the affairs of your own estate. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And the real estate is the land. They don't allow us access to the real estate because they hold us barred from the land with something called a colloidal title. Under that a system, when they stole the land, the people that they allotted the land to, notice the word allotted. This is the root to right. where you get your alloidio trust. Mm -hmm. The alloidio trust is the segmented portions of the land that the corporation divided up amongst its own selected people. Right? When, when did they do this? Go back to what Martin Luther King said that while they was taking everything for us, they was undergird, undergirding Europe's peasantry with resources to mechanize the farms 
and they use us to teach them farming. Right? How can we teach them farming if we don't know this land? You we are. We just gonna bring a motherfucker from Africa to teach farming to Europeans that don't even know this land. How the fuck do that make sense? Yeah, they, they don't know the climate. When the climate change, they don't know what's conducive to the land. So how can you tell me what's on this land if you don't know what's conducive to my land? Yeah. So in different parts of the country, you have to know what crop is viable to this part of the country and why. Every motherfucking one of us, these Mississippi walking clay dirt Negroes, right? We know the land. Absolutely. Like the back of our Right. Hand. We got people, we got people um, like people with the last name Fields. That clan has been commercialized as a, a regular last name of European conquest. The Fields was the ones who took care of the open plains and made sure that the grazing areas wasn't spoiled by lack of being maintenance. We took care of nature. This not no when they say caretakers of the land, they don't just mean that we just walked around land. on the land with a thong up our ass. That's not what the caretakers the land, did. The land good, no matter what our lifestyle is. Like I said, I've been in the streets. I've I've done it all. You heard, Unc, mm -hmm. but I still mm -hmm. have that part of nature in me that that's that's never been removed. No matter how I took care of my family, no matter how I got the job done, I never violated nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you follow the of following the rules of nature? That's how you exercise your autonomy, your sovereignty. When you walk hand in hand with nature, you become almost untouchable. The storms go around you. Yep. They they gonna path, follow the the storm follows the path of least resistance. The strong the souls make the storm go the other way. Yep. And, and it looked like, like it's storming on them, but storm, the storm, storm actually storm, blowing storm, all around. Was supposed to be bad in Jacksonville. I was sitting here waiting for it. I went to the beach. Mm -hmm. I went to the beach. We went to the beach. <laughs> Me and my mom went right to the beach. I said, "Oh, they said a storm coming, my. Let's go to the beach." Hey, God, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let y'all fall out. I'm gonna take somebody else in. Yeah, um, definitely. Small Peace, question. Peace, Peace God. Too, man. Yeah. I love talking to the people, seeing the understanding of what's taking place on the land in real time, how to read the energy by seeing how the elders is responding. Where you at? It's so goddamn dark over there. Where you at? Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can't see you, though. You trying to hide your face? Yes, I don't want to be on camera right now. But I just wanted to... Is, it, is that a problem? Mm -mm, I, the people probably want to see who's talking. I know. Okay, let me... Gosh, guys. Okay, I just wanted to say something quick because I've been learning and um, studying and I'm listening to this, you know, all this stuff about consumer law. People don't have the funds and stuff they don't know about what we're supposed to be doing with our bills when we're sent them we're supposed to be turning them in and getting those credits like we do have access to our accounts but we need to know how to perform yes, instead of paying i know it's a trap is, is it a trap yeah how how would it be a trap? Because the system needs you to contract with it in order to have a purpose. As soon as you stop contracting with it, it's going to die. I see what you're saying. You pump a so light into it. Go ahead. Okay. It's called, if you look up the term resurrection of contract, it'll uh -huh. under, you will under, you understand what I'm talking about. The corporation is dead. Yes. They bankrupt and closed. It's a defunct corporation. But 
when you filing paperwork with the corporation that's dead, you're doing business with a dead entity, therefore you classifying yourself as the dead because only the dead do business with the dead while the living walks among themselves and do business amongst the living. But if you are the beneficiary beneficiary a, of that dead entity it doesn't exist anymore it's a defunct gotcha. corporation it's I gotcha. closed i got gotcha. you the paperwork is going back digging up the body mm -hmm. trying to get them to give you a benefit it's dead I, I, the corporation I got you. is gone the whole president show right now is a whole show and people People that actually believe that this character that they be transferring different actors to play as Joe Biden, they need a real psych. Yeah, I agree. So, okay, question. So what you're saying is the people that are getting remedy from their accounts, what, what, you, what's going to happen to them? Like if the okay, corporation is the, dead and they're still getting remedy. They they are considered party to the fraud and can be prosecuted when the new system come online. Gotcha. Gotcha. That makes sense. Once the fraud is discovered, the remedy in law is called abandonment of contract for fraud. Mm -hmm. When you abandon the contract because of the fraud, you can no longer, when the fraud is discovered, you abandon the contract, you cannot be held party to the fraud. But when you discover the fraud and then you actively participate in the fraud, you become part. That's why a lot of the guys that was using sovereign rights was ending yeah. up in federal prison, because now you are in on the fraud with the fraudsters. You part of the crime that's being committed in real time. I'm following you. Yeah. That makes right. Sense. So. The only defense is the abandonment defense because once a fraud is discovered and you abandon it because you can't overthrow the fraudster because his reach is much bigger than yours. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you have to abandon the contract. Got you. That makes sense. I appreciate it. You're I welcome, appreciate sweetie. it. I needed to. I needed to ask that <laughs> to it, get clarity. It was, a, so I good, it was a good question, though, and a lot of people ask that question, and I just have to give them the same explanation. It's it's the same explanation. It's just that everybody haven't heard me give the explanation, so sometimes it has to be repeated. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. Have a good night. You too. Um, I don't have any information to comment on Mitchell Gibson. Peace. Peace, Peace goddess. How, how are you doing? I am well. I am well. I just want to let you know, man, when I first heard of you is when I heard one of your prophecies. And I knew you was the real deal because I had dreamt that. What you were saying was aligning with my dreams. And I was like, okay, yes. He knows exactly what he's speaking about. Okay, so just for the, for the crowd listening, I don't make, I'm not a prophet. I don't predict the future, but I do math that leads me to the conclusions based off of the signs that I see active in the current moment. Indeed, indeed, God, indeed. And because people be calling me false prophet. I'm like, I ain't no, I ain't never told nobody I was no goddamn prophet. Where you get that from? I'm a mathematician doing a math problem. That's a conceptual physics formula. <laughs> indeed, indeed, God, indeed. 
indeed i just want to give you your flowers i just want to give you your flowers you are definitely doing a beautiful work for the people the people everywhere even the people that don't appreciate you right now or understand the vision but it all plays together for the good of everybody and yeah because all... they know big eyes and no little use and i ain't no respect to a person it's a good motherfucker good motherfucker and a piece of shit a piece of shit that's for real. <laughs> it is what it is. It is. And some people it is. look like a piece of shit on the surface because they perform in a function that don't look savory to the masses, mm -hmm. but that's the role they have to play. We have to all fight the war from the angle we can see. That's right. That's absolutely right. Absolutely right. Uh, yeah, I definitely, uh, I definitely understand. I see definitely through the looking glass. Okay, so. I feel you. I just want to come on and give you your flowers. I just want to come on and give you your flowers. I'm not going to hold you. I know other people want to get on here with you, but keep definitely enlightening. Okay. I appreciate it, sweetie. Okay. Peace. Peace. The young guy that came in. What's going on? Peace to the team. Man, I feel like I'm on the BT Awards right now. Before we get started, let me ask you this question right quick. Atlanta, Atlanta was already put on notice by the ceremony of tribes, right? Because our people. Our people froze up, so we sent people that don't look like us to do the work for us as a ceremonial tribe, right? So what you're seeing now is the nature response to Atlanta for not trying to clean up the dirt after they was put on notice. What's going on, uh, guy? What's up? Yeah, Tell people your name, man. Where you calling from? Man, D. Preston. I'm out here in Cali, man. We pushing this real warrior energy. I just want to give condemn you, OG, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't want to talk to nobody else. Man, the spiritual community, they done crashed, though. Man, people out here looking for their God bodies, man. And we still here. We moving. I got, I'm going to kick. I'm going to get straight to it, OG. What you think about... UVC radiation being ground level now and how these... You covering up your speaker. Uh, you, know, you still got it covered up. Hear me? Yeah, you got me on your, your headset? No, I just, I just took it off. It's, I just took yeah, it off. I keep now. I okay. keep now. Okay, what you think about the UVC radiation being ground level and it being 2023, you know, that's the seven year. This all this is the beginning of their plan. 2030, uh, 2030. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to bring the culture in just because this kind of resonates with just how that seven year tribulation kick off in a biblical text for all the house fingers. I want you to break their ass off, OG, because I don't think our people really understand what's really going on with how Big Mama moving and how Rock activated right now. Right. So because we're going into the sun cycle, we have to go into a golden age. Come on. The golden age arrives at the age of Aquarius. So, uh, uh, age of Aquarius officially came in in 2012. Okay. So what we're doing now is we're doing the awakening, right? Yeah. Trying to get the tribes to know that the government classified the tribes as gangs. First and foremost, we have to remember that. We are outlaw tribes, belligerent to the treaty tribal governments. <laughs> Y'all gotta listen, listen up. These treaty tribal governments contracts, they were defrauded by the invaders who came to set up an interim government until we was a functional enough people after the war to reform our own tribal 
network of governments. Oh, that's powerful. G. Go ahead. <clears throat> All of these so-called gang leaders is actual blood-tied chiefs on the land that's POWs of a foreign agency operating under the false pretense of being our government. I'm following you. That's powerful. They are all being bankrolled by an international banking cartel who operates under all what we call Federal Reserve type systems mm -hmm. using fractional reserve banking and the inflation adjustment of the financial instrument in order to steal everything from the people. Y'all got to listen. I hear you. Okay, so now all of these chiefs have all decided that enough is enough and treaties of peace was being written by all of the outlaw belligerent tribes to reclaim the land because we got the blood and the right of the organic originals of the land coming out of the North American Basin, or Congo, called the Mississippi Delta. Hello. We expand from there and branch out like veins across the land in tribal settlements and took on different names amongst ourselves that we gave ourselves. Then when the invaders came the Gullah Geechee Big Mama called all clans on deck to fight in the Gullah Wars. Come on. When the enemy tell the story, they called the copper colored nappy head chiefs slaves. We are insulted. Come on. We serve no man at no time. As the Chief, we only give service to the duties and functions Big Mama delegated to us. I'm right with you. Come on. So when one chief makes a discovery that affects his clan, he must vex the, to his clan in order to offer up a solution to remedy or redeem his clan from whatever this particular issue is. Damn, OG, why you going crazy? You got to chill. <laughs> okay, so, so now, when the chief make a discovery that, effect, that affects all of the clans, he is responsible to go to each clan and put it in the public domain and allow that clan to sift through his information and see if he really know what the fuck he talking about and is this something we need to take action on come on now i'm what i'm doing as an internet campaign is a time stamped and dated archivable format that under the oral traditions of the original people from the land called the Americas, North, South, Central, and the outlying islands, Tonga, Samoa, Hawaii, down to the extended lands of down under, New Zealand and Australia, all clans on deck have decided that enough is a motherfucking enough. Come on, now we rise. Now. The grievance that we respond into is invaders sexually abusing our children and using them for sex toys with no regard for skin tone, hair texture, or any of that. They fucking all our babies. Come on. The ones that derive from that procreatic cell, right? It don't matter. Okay. okay. The enemy is the same to all organic tribes of the earth. Okay. In that order. I hear you go, G. I'm with you. Some of the organic tribes of the earth got blind hair and black skin. Or what we call chocolate skin. Okay. They born that way. Okay. And some of them got blind hair and blind skin. They still consist of that neuromelanin, right? 
that's still one of the 12 daughters of Isis. Damn. These were the 12 major clans that settled the entirety of the earth dating back before Atlantis was a fart. Damn, OG, I hear you. You woke my game up right now. We, we've been here for trillions of years doing these cycles Do y'all hear in hear order to train souls. Come on. Right? And now that the school's been hijacked by the bad kids, in comes the dean of the university to kick their warden out who was running it like a prison. Damn. Oh, OG, you giving me game right now. Come on. So now that they warden turned out to be a prison planet, we take the warden and treat him like he treated treated the worst of us. We didn't decide how we was gonna act when this was gonna go be. They did. Come on, it's over. With we you. didn't decide that we was gonna be the ones that had to clean this shit up. They did. Come on, pack up. We we welcomed everybody with open arms, and they thought that that meant we were weak. That's why they got Black Friday on our ass. Right. Come on. Our harvest of the turkey gave us the day that we call Thanksgiving. Yeah. But they celebrate Black Friday. Yeah. Because after we got done drinking fire water, smoking plenty peace pipe, and eating plenty of tryptophan because Big Mama always cooked the turkeys to as a symbolic representation of a chief that was performing his function correctly. The turkey, the turkey with his spread tail feathers is the head feathers of the chief. Come on. When a new chief is 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 being christened. It's going to be on Thanksgiving, and he's going to get his own turkey. And he going to cut it up among his wife and his, his immediate offspring. Straight like that. And then the rest of the clans going to get up, and they going to go to the buffet and get their own shit to eat. Yeah. But first, Big Mama had to christen the new chief with his own turkey that he had to bless the table and all who sit to eat with the new chief and serve them a piece of his community, which is represented by carving up other turkey. So we didn't know they was, they was criminalizing our culture and monetizing our culture in exonyms given to our culture to make us believe that these was some shit called a pagan holiday. It's a damn shame. We better remember this shit. It's in us. So down that we done had all this food to eat, and now that we done had all this fire water in this peace pipe, and all is tryptophan and we go to sleep for day for morning pale face get up and slaughters but they really wasn't pale face they look like us all skin folk ain't can folk all skin Come folk ain't can folk yeah but they told us in the history books that they wrote to give us that these people that slaughtered the pequot was pale face they were not pale face that propaganda they pushing out, they got us right they got because they're trying to control the narrative. Narrative. They own motherfuckers crashing out. Oh, do you see them? Yeah. So they got now, for our ass. Not to yeah. the wisdom. I apologize. Yeah. Now that we didn't whoop their ass, hey, go ahead. <laughs> Cut loose on the nephew. Oh, everything. <laughs> hey, we out here cooking from Cali, OG. I'm right with you. We rising. They said it was going to be a few of us rising, not just one. It's in a book. Hey, listen, your OGs out there have been sending me messages. I, oh, yeah? I told the OGs in Cali to hit them in the pockets. Yeah, no. They, You've been they seeing the organized crews clearing out the stores. This is not 
not no accident. This ain't no shit that just just decided to happen today. Come on. It's that cycle you're talking about, OG. Look, gotta listen you, know, to you. you from Cali. You know Cali culture because you live it. Yeah. Who you know going to put it without an OG or sanction it? Who going to run up in the store in a mob like that? If the OG don't sanction it, who going to do it? The young but, but if they if they do it, it's gonna be a consequence. It, but who's gonna a young homie's not gonna think to do it? The young homie's gonna run up in the liquor store with a pistol. You're not lying. They're gonna run up in the gas station. They're gonna catch the ice cream man. That's what the little homies gonna do because they don't know no better. They don't have a value of a dollar. So who who organizing these motherfuckers? To run up in the Gucci store and clear the racks. Run up in the jewelry store and clear the cases. Now, they put now while they doing this, they telling the people that's working there insurance got this shit covered. Yeah. They hitting them in the pockets. Yeah. The insurance rate right to pay out. They told them they told the young niggas that they not gonna hold them too long. You see what they're doing with the laws? It's part of the game. It's it's folding. It's over with. This because the tribes in Cali is, is reclaiming the land and they making these motherfuckers pay on their way out. Oh. <laughs> if, if don't nobody know what's going on, we'll explain it to the culture <laughs> and let you put the pieces together. Uh, that's powerful. <laughs> That's powerful. So That's powerful. In, in Cali, they structure they organize the organizational structure is not the same as in the Midwest with vice lords, disciples, stones, etc. Yeah. Out there, y'all operate on what's called the OG call. Mm -hmm. We operate on the chain of command. Y'all follow a chain of command, but y'all divided up different than we is. We divided up by the rank and the function you performing. Y'all mm. divided by how much work you put in. Mm. Right? You can't be a triple OG and you ain't never put no work in. No, you ain't lying, OG. Because then the the young G's is gonna try they gonna try your ass to see if you're the man that you say you is because there's no history or pattern for them to look at right so when when you see something that organized you already know that's not no children organizing that yeah because only do the adults think in the terms of when you hit a motherfucker in the pockets, who do you make pay? Insurance. In, the insurance companies is the biggest frosters on the land. Yeah, they sick with it. Right. Hit the motherfuckers and hit them hard. And when the insurance payout come, it compensates the business owner. <laughs> and now the insurance companies is bitching to the motherfucking financiers at the bank. Come on. The motherfuckers who got us divided up in the 13 central bank regions. Because that's how they was going to carve our land up among their clans that they call Israelites. You going crazy, OG. Come on. That shit don't got nothing to do with us. We not Ishmaelites, Israelites, Hamites. We ain't none of that biblical shit. Because that's the book that they use to entrap us by making us believe it has something to do with us when it don't got nothing to do with us. Come on. We didn't know what that book said before 1492. We didn't. So how do that shit got some, anything to do with us? Come on. Our culture is outlaw culture to their culture. That mean the shit they told us voodoo stay away from got to be our shit. Come on. Oh. <laughs> so I went and investigated. Cut up on their ass. When I got I done, done investigating if the voodoo was really our culture, 
versus they culture, I came out that bitch a witch doctor. <laughs> oh, I went in a priest and I came out a witch doctor. Come on. That's man. enlightenment for your motherfucking ass. <laughs> oh, every day. Yeah. This was my this was my people at. Yeah. The ones that will cut you from asshole to appetite and sit down and eat motherfucking a whole meal on your corpse. Come on. About they motherfucking family. Come on. Them my people. You leave them alone, they leave you alone. Them my people. Yeah. They operate exactly how I feel. They got to be my people. Yeah. I can't feel how they operate if we ain't got something in common somewhere in the blood. Come on. So when I hear my uncle tell my father, come on, man, time to have a powwow, niggas, Africans don't do powwows. Who the fuck is these motherfuckers? Yeah. Africans don't do powwows. Yeah. My mama say we ain't from Africa, and Africans don't do powwows. And my daddy and my uncle and them went to powwows on a regular basis with their peoples. Who in the fuck is these motherfuckers? Come on. Aboriginal. I asked some old dude if he was from Africa. He said, we might have some African in my blood. I don't know. He said, he but I can tell you this. My grandmama had hair down her ankles, and she, we know she was native. Come Why on. you tell me that? Because the blood right come through the motherland. Come on. Only the tribe's going to follow that shit. Yeah. The corporation not going to follow it because it's a direct smack in the face to their patriarchal agenda to homosexualize the children. Yeah. That's why it's in the public school system. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of the public school systems, these parents finna get a rude awakening. No, it's already rude, OG. I'm on their ass. They finna get an awakening on these schools like never before. People better stop sending their children to the motherfucking brainwashing camps because they finna hurt some babies. Yeah, and they scared daddy can't save them from what the fuck they talking about exempt from their religion. Yeah, no. Nah, your religion can't exempt you from that ABC bullshit, OG. Yeah. Look. Tell the motherfuckers that, that that's in the house with Massa. Yep. All that's for contractual agreements. Yeah. Stop sending your child to the brainwash camp. Now, I want to do, I want to get with some sisters and do an open for Q&A format on setting up homeschooling groups. So if one of the sisters is inter interested with starting a homeschooling group, I can give you, like, how do, okay, so you're getting groups of people together um, to, to, to perform a function that government was performing in in error okay the contract right. over yeah contract is over yeah. we are, if we don't take our children out of these out of their schools they gonna traumatize us just we don't believe it though so we're gonna get traumatized because yeah. they're gonna do what they're gonna do yeah it's sick Even now remember on their way out they desire to uh cause a the maximum amount of chaos possible before they allow the last sips of power to drain from their cup. And what they got in mind for the chaos is supposed to be to force the parents to stop sending their child to them brainwashing camps. Come on. That's all it is. Cook on. Now, now, I didn't see some books of life, a lot of them leaving on the same day at the same time. Yeah. And they all agreed in their book of life to leave together in that group. Okay. Yeah. That tell me that this is already, it's got to happen because the people are not going to wake up. Yeah, no. Nah, they already a step on their ass. But I wouldn't send if I had any say, I'm not sending no, telling nobody to send their child to school. Yeah. Anybody yeah. that's willing to listen to understand what I'm talking about, because we keep we we already they've been telling us with the school shootings, them are warning shots. Before, before they were school shootings, people don't remember. Yeah. There was McDonald's shootings. 
That's them. Between McDonald's shootings and school shootings, they had a rash of post office shootings where we got the term going to go postal on your ass. Come on. Get the right the playground out the motherfucking McDonald's. Get the, <laughs> tear that yeah. motherfucking down. So all of those were those are just indicators. Yeah. Before they do something big, they have to make enough small commotion throughout the land before they do something big. Now they're ready to do something big because they sipping the last two little drops of power they got. Yeah. They on their way out. And they gonna try to make us suffer the most, and the thing that you make us suffer the most is when you hurt the children. Yeah, that's they next up. Yeah, all I can do is warn whoever willing to listen. Yeah, to pull their children out of out of these brainwashing camps, but most of them can't see the fall of Babylon. And know that the system is going to shock you into awareness one way or another. Yeah. And I didn't want to be the one responsible to deliver the message that I see. A, it's like a black hole in the awakening process. That's a emotional drain on a massive amount of people. Yeah. Right. They're going to do that to try to stall out the shift in the Schumann resonance. Yeah, because Big Mama, she, she talking right now. She mm -hmm. talking. Once the, the Schumann resonance come fully um, stabilized, right, there ain't nothing they can do. Atlas Shrug is next. This It's a high-frequency vibration from the core of the Earth. Anything that doesn't have mitochondrial right to be here will be turned off that don't come from that black woman the the, the term the term is at the shrug mm. at the shrug is a book by ann Rand that tells about what happens after at the shrug it looks like uh post-apocalyptic era okay but what it's doing is they gonna blame it on viruses and diseases because they've been poisoning us, telling us we've been had viruses and diseases the whole time. So when they tell us that all these people that's being turned off, like they call it now, suddenly dead or ADS, adult death syndrome, for the people that mother as the and remember, more and more people getting turned off. But once she turn all the way on. If you're not supposed to be here, you will be turned the fuck off. Yeah. Period. Yeah. It's time and, and it, I've been telling off. people this for years, yeah. but they don't know what I'm talking about. That's what all that suddenly dead shit about. The the Jabberwoski is just a good excuse to cover that story up. That's that zombie juice right there. That's gene therapy and some more of it, and it's definitely not enough of it. They got some more shit for y'all too. That. That's depending on that shit. Damn, OG, you done broke it off. <laughs> I know Look, they can't stand me, OG. I done got your ass cooking. <laughs> Hey, look, our people probably appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, no, come on. But, now we ride. Look, the, these people <laughs> are being turned <coughs> off. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Those are your nine player characters. NPCs. When the NPC is being turned off, it's going to look like adult, a sudden adult death syndrome. The church has been teaching it for years, and they was calling it the rapture. But they had, had the story upside down and backwards. So when they were saying a motherfucker was going to be gone in the twinkling of an eye, no, he gonna be gone, but that motherfucking form gonna be sitting there. Come on. <laughs> he gonna be turned the fuck off. Come on. It's over with. Now, the sky's about to open up. Yeah. They say the veil, hey, the family up in here been going crazy. That veil is lifted, y'all. Y'all know that. So, 
when the veil is fully lifted, yeah, we're gonna clearly see what they've been trying to conceal. That's why I have to keep telling these motherfuckers the truth every time I say something. Because uh, my, I want to be so firmly rooted in the truth, I can't be shook. And that's why I can't fuck with them, OG, because they don't feel you. They trying to call you a they trying to call you a fraud because they trying to bank up off our people. Man, this shit over with. These niggas, I hope these niggas have fun with that money. You better get I don't care about look, I don't care if people wanna be African American, man. I don't I'm I don't have a problem with them wanting to be African American. That's, that don't have nothing to do with me. Yeah, these niggas sick, OG. Look, they can be unapologetically African American. Yeah. If they, they don't understand that black is the defenders on the chessboard and they just wanna be civilly mortis, they can be black. Unapologetically so. <laughs> they can be free white persons in law, a black or more. Come on. I don't care. All I'm telling them is I don't mind y'all being here. Just don't get in the way because I'm collecting my birthright. It's, oh, they got to get this shit back. Sit back. While you see these Mississippi red clay dirt walking around in human form. Yeah. Exalting Big Mama to her rightful position. Come on. Giving their sisters back their rightful inheritance. Come on, listen. All in the corporation on a fraudulent establishment. Yeah. Serving in the eviction notice and severing the contract on behalf of all of the incompetent chiefs who didn't know it was time to sever the contracts. While we we doing all that shit. Just please leave my people alone. Come That's all. I don't ask for a lot. Yeah. If you African American and you from Africa, which I don't mind you being from Africa, but I don't know an African from Africa that call himself an African. Come on, man. Then my brother if he's he from Nigeria... Yeah. He might say he Nigerian, but more so, when I talk to him, they always tell me they tried. Come on. They don't tell me they from Lagos, Nigeria. Man knows thyself. They don't tell me that they from Johannesburg, South Africa. Yeah. They tell me they tried. And then I I'll be like, what part of the continent is that tribe? Now they start telling you regional shit based off the exonymic description of the Berlin Conference. Ugh. Because that's our perspective and the only way they can show us on the map where they from using the language that we can understand because we all been indoctrinated by the same enemy. Come on. Remember who you are. But when he tell me who he is... He gonna give me a name and a tribe first yeah. out the gate. Come on now, now. The ones who might give you something different is the ones who've been converted to uh, Islam, as if that shit not equally as fraudulent. Break that ass off, OG. Stop playing Look, with these niggas. If we study the history of international slave trade, yeah, the so-called niggas called Jews. Mm. Financed it. Some niggas called Arabs started it, turned it into a business, a booming business yeah. that resulted in hundreds of trillions of dollars over the years. All of the nations of Europe who ha has no resources begin to use that as a means of currency exchange. Come on. So the money that they was using was transferring slaves into gold. Come on. Receive. This is how the Kazarians was able to amass a massive amount of wealth in order to finance the kings of Europe Conquest of the world using the Arab slave trade mechanics 
as part of a fractional reserve banking network yeah. that charge interest rates to monarchies around the world. And in the end, the monarchy hold on to his little petty position, but all of the money belonged to the Kazarians. Damn. These Kazarians is a mulatto offspring of black Amores and European women. They are mulatto race. Yeah. A half-breed race. The entire race was born to the concubines that the black royal family of Europe had that was pale face. So instead of disinheriting them, they allowed them to be custodians of the banks, what we call them Rothschilds and Rockefellers. They just cover stories. Twelve punk motherfuckers. Yeah. Now, when you find out who they work for, they look like us, but they ain't us. Yeah, fuck them niggas. They <laughs> call themselves black conquistadors if they from Spain. Come on. They tutors are the Tudor royal families who went about to conquer the world under the pretense of spreading the gospel. Okay. Now, now you remember, in 325 AD, Christianity was created by orders of Emperor Constantine at the Nicene Council. This is universally known throughout Christendom as the root to the Bible, compilation originally 80 books that became 66 when they created a 400 year gap between Malachi and Matthew, they took 14 books out the Bible. Yeah. Okay, that don't count all of the rest of the contemporary texts that the narrative that they wanted to push mm -hmm. would expose, so they left them out. Yeah. Your book yeah. of 